This is the eighth year of this tournament. We started as a weight category tournament, and uh, the uh, purpose of this tournament to hike up a level of the fighters from Los Angeles and also uh, the whole uh, United States. All the fighters use this tournament uh, kind of like a, to start out uh, into our a major tournament circuit. So people who grow up with this tournament start going to uh, overseas and world tournament uh, class of uh, fight. Um, our organization in Los Angeles, Kyokushin Kaikan itself, uh, grew out of this um, uh, tournament. We did have many fighters from different uh, parts of the world, uh, so as uh, many European fighters, and this time we have uh, Russian fighters coming, and many top fighters from Japan and other uh, Asian countries. So, um, uh, mixing with uh, those uh, other fighters, other Kyokushin fighters from different uh, parts of the world, um, our fighters going up, uh, getting more experience, and uh, uh, see more global level of uh, uh, tournament committee fight. In 2005, we had a uh, little less than 100 fighters, which it was, I believe, it was like uh, 95 to 96 fighters. And um, uh, every year we increase the number of the fighters. Uh, right now, this particular tournament this year, we have 105 fighters, uh, which a last three, four years, we keep having somewhere between 110. Uh, area 110 to 120, which is a pretty good size for um, the national tournament. Yes, uh, since this is a weight category tournament, and also uh, we divide it by the age groups, and of course uh, we have a men's division and a female, a senior division, and uh, all the kata divisions by different uh, uh, level of groups. So this time we have a 25 different categories, and we prize up to a third place, you know, first place, second and third place. So it will be uh, that much different uh, categories. Plus we have a, a best fighting spirit uh, award and also a best technique award. Uh, my school in this tournament, we include the junior and the female and seniors. We have about uh, 30 fighters. And uh, we do have uh, approximately 60 to 65 fighters from Los Angeles area. And the uh, rest of the other fighters are coming from uh, uh, different parts. Uh, includes the New York and uh, Chicago East Coast and many from Canada, and then uh, Europe and Russia. As far as the adult division concerned, um, for women, um, we do have uh, two different categories this time, lightweight and middleweight. Uh, lightweight, we do have a, a world champion uh, Miriyoito and uh, other uh, black belt whose uh, youngsters are uh, getting more experience in the last couple of years, uh, the one of the black belt coming from uh, New York. And also, uh, of course, uh, Zola, uh, our lightweight female fighter. Uh, I 
I'm thinking that those uh, will do uh, good in this uh, tournament. And we also have uh, the, a lightweight female champion coming from uh, Vancouver. Uh, so uh, the lightweight will be really exciting in uh, this uh, women's division. Now middleweight, we have a three-time uh, lightweight champion of this tournament uh, moving up to uh, middleweight. So Evalina uh, from Chicago, she will be probably doing good in this tournament. Now uh, men's division, we have a top world fighter coming to this tournament, uh, at least two from uh, Europe. One is from Russia and uh, he is fourth place in the world openweight category. So uh, he's top of the cream uh, coming to Los Angeles to fight. And also we have 2010 uh, European champion a, from Romania coming to fight in this tournament. And uh, a youth champion, uh, we have uh, Sota Nakano from our dojo. Uh, he actually placed first place in middleweight year before, but he had he had to lose last year. So uh, he's looking forward to uh, come back to the first place. Um, as far as the uh, you know fighting level concerned, we do have a world uh, third place in the world in middleweight uh, in men's division from our dojo so um, i wanted to use this tournament as a step to get to a world openweight champion uh, to to bring to uh, los angeles which uh, openweight division a world championship tournament is a supreme uh, highest uh, level of tournament in fiction Titan. and i'm hoping to have uh, that champion uh, you know uh, from Los Angeles in the future. Now, uh, this tournament, we have many juniors, uh, youth, from five years old, anyone from uh, five years old and up to uh, 17 years old fighting. And through uh, karate practicing, uh, practicing karate and going through this kind of tournament, I want people, kids, to uh, learn how to respect others, respect opponent, and how to uh, grow strong. And uh, if the karate experience will give them um, a strong spirit to live through life, then it will be a, a, a good uh, for them, for life. This tournament, uh, eighth year in Los Angeles, um, we've been doing, the last seven years we did it in Little Tokyo. Uh, Japan America Theater. Now this year we moved to um, El Camino College, uh, which is in Torrance. We have uh, this location can hold a lot more audience, and uh, the location-wise, it's uh, good for uh, people from Orange County or just anywhere else um, uh, can get at this location. It's easy access, so I'd like to have uh, more people in Los Angeles to come and watch this tournament and see uh, how uh, we train every day and uh, uh, what we are training and what we're looking uh, to train. Yes. Oh, my name is Kyoto Shimamura and I'm 10 years old. So I'm going to compete in the um, US weight category, 10 year old division. This is my third time competing in the US weight category. When I'm uh, in the tournament, I'll try, I'll try to hit more punches and kicks and try to give damage to my opponent and just fight with it and try to um, be, be in first place. Uh, 
I've been practicing for over four years right now. And uh, I'm training on my um, low kicks and back kicks. I'm not training on my kicks right now. I had um, good memories and I want to um, still do karate for a lot of more years. My name is Seichiro Alan Kizumoto, and I will be in the super heavyweight division of the Kita for the tournament. In the red corner, number 60, number 87 from Los Angeles, Seichiro Fujimoto. Uh, I've been a part of Chokushin LA for five years now. Uh, this is the first time I'm competing in an actual tournament. I've been coming to class a lot with Tak Sensei or my senpais. And we've been sparring a lot leading up to the tournament, and the last couple of weeks have been mainly bag work. I've also been uh, running at home and trying to not lift as heavy. Uh, to be honest, it's my first tournament in karate, and I'm not sure what to expect, so I'm just going to go in and see how it is and try to have fun. I listen to a lot of corn, mud vein, and aquabats. I'm basically gonna try to keep my hands up, bend my knees, and go forward and try to punch more times than the other guy hits me. And that's the second was it a half point for Daniel Milicevic. He which turns into a full point victory. He fought and he advances to the final. So you should have to come up fight for third place. This is the fight for third place in the women's lightweight division. Uh, my name is Zora Shalini. I'm taking part in the lightweight category women's division. Uh, in the US weight category, it's the first year that I competed in December in um, Vancouver for the Vancouver Cup. Uh, I've been training, uh, doing a lot of cardio and conditioning in the morning, uh, doing some stretching, and then doing um, hitting bags and doing the classes uh, at night and sparring. Uh, so I've been doing that for about, about six days a week uh, in the past month and a half, I would say. Intensively more in the past three weeks. I meditate a lot, but I also try to remember the things that Sanstaki tells me. Um, his words mean a lot and uh, his confidence in me naturally gives me a lot of confidence. So, I try to think about that and I try to think about um, all the other fighters that I respect very much and how they work. Um, I try to think about those. I have friends that fight in UFC and usually the mental part of the fight is a big part of it, so I try to prepare for that as much as possible. Uh, but this physical part really prepares you for the mental part as well. So if you physically prepare yourself, then mentally, automatically, you will be prepared. The first fight that I have, I don't know the fighter. Um, I've been training with uh, Miruyu, who's uh, really a great fighter, and she's been fighting for a long, long time. Um, I look at her, I try to learn from everyone uh, that, is, that has been doing this for a very long time. Um, Strategy-wise, uh, I mean, I would have to do what I do best, and I'll react to the, the fighter uh, as it comes. What I can do the best is to prepare myself to react faster, as fast as possible, and be able to block 
as much as possible. Uh, yes, I think I think it's one of the biggest competitions in the U.S. Um, last year, I volunteered and um, and I remember watching the dojo and I wished that I one day I could fight in that. So it's a it's a great honor to be able to be a candidate and fight in this tournament and I qualified and uh, uh, so I'm I'm honored and it's uh, I take pride in that. I'm very proud of this competition. It, uh, it's a platform for all fighters to be able to do uh, what they love to do and it's our passion. So um, it's provided by us by this US weight category. Uh, so um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. My name is Mirio Ito. I will fight in the women's lightweight division and also kata adult, kata adult advanced. 2007, I got um, first place in the world women's tournament. And 2005, 2008, 2009, uh, Kata World Tournament first place. Uh, before tournament, uh, I will get nervous, so I have to fight myself. And um, I have, I feel, uh, I feel a lot of pressure, but I wanna, I want to win for. Sensei or friends or everybody. I will try to get Ippon. So I did uh, back work and I did uh, cardio training. I will do my best. Boss.
Singer in the white corner, Mihuri Okiko, she advances to the final. Next we go into the women's middleweight competition, match number 48. In the red corner, from Torrance, Soka Makano. I'm Sultan Kapano. I'm going to be participating in the uh, middleweight men division. Half a few years ago, I was in Hawaii and I moved to here. And uh, the circumstance changed, uh, changed uh, completely. So like, I have more um, uh, training partners, um, sparring partners. So it changed a lot. I want to use what I learned from, you know, Sensei Taku and also from Senpai and the thing that what I train, um, uh, think that um, technique that what I train for this um, competition, such as like Gedam, Tsuki, and new techniques. When I started uh, winning the tournament, and then I felt that you know this is fun, and you know I want to be more. That's why you know I I started training harder and harder and participating in the tournament more.
the winner in the red corner by unanimous decision, Sultan Nakano.